Hey everybody, or should I say ahoy everybody! Welcome back to a pirate themed episode of Northern Lions Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac, suggested by YouTube user SaltGuy201. Let's talk about what's going on on this run, uh, and why this is a pirate themed run beyond obviously my uh, nautical choice of greeting. In any case, we are starting with Mom's Knife, but we can only use it as a melee weapon, we can't actually use it as a projectile. Thus, it has basically becomes Mom's Sword. Uh, the most powerful weapon in all of the land. We also have, as you might be able to see, the dead bird. I've chosen that. That was not actually suggested by the user who suggested this challenge run. But I always thought, you know, pirates have a sidekick. They always have, like, a, um, you know, a cockatoo or a parrot on their side. So I figured dead bird kind of made sense. We also have dead sea scrolls. We have the skeleton key, which is basically just going to facilitate us opening as many treasure chests as is humanly possible. You know, as pirates are wont to do. Uh, we have the treasure map, which you can't really see because we are on Curse of Darkness here, and the sack of pennies, so shops are going to be valuable for us. And we're going to amass some delicious gold. Now, I haven't 100% decided if uh, item rooms should be available. My gut reaction, and it's not just because Max's head is in there, but my gut reaction is that item rooms should be allowed because, um, you know, we already are at a disadvantage from having to walk into enemies immediately with Mom's Knife. So I'm going to say that item rooms are allowed here. If this ends up being really, really imbalancing, then that's uh, my mistake and my apologies as we will see moving forwards. So I'm not trying to make it too easy on myself. What I am trying to do is make it, you know, easy enough that we have at least a chance of success because I tried this run by the way, playing as Kane, obviously that eye patch is, um, oh come on, kamikaze really? Uh, that eye patch is, uh, part of the whole pirate's getup that we've got going on here. Thank you very much, High Priestess. Uh, but, I, d I did this run kind of off camera, and I died with normal health in like two seconds, like, on the second or third room. Uh, because Kane starts so low on health, and I was like constantly running into enemies, so I think this might be a good balancing factor. Uh, but we'll see. Again, I'm not trying to balance things too much in my favor, just more in my favor uh, than the initial run that I did. But this all depends on what kind of items we get from uh, the rooms that we come across as well. So now that I've got money from Pageant Boy, I am going to go to the shop. Dead Sea Scrolls was totally worthless for us. The shop has the Steam Sale, which I would love to get. The problem is, I, I you know, if we still had Kamikaze, I could maybe bomb my way into the shop, with, or a secret room, which is probably here. Sadly, now- Oh, it's Bob's Rodden Head! We could get so lucky. Oh my god, it stopped just short! That's so silly. Okay, well, do we want to spend any money at the shop here? Well, I guess we could get a bomb and possibly get 10 cents and then buy the steam sale. Or, or we could open that treasure chest there. Is this definitely where it is? I don't think it would be there. So yes, I think it would be here. Let's try it. It is indeed there, but we only get 3 cents. That's really disappointing. I want to put out this fire, but I don't want to risk myself, so you know. The other thing is... Um, I'm gonna be able to use Mom's Knife as a projectile, I think, in situations like that, and I'm gonna be able to use Mom's Knife as a projectile when we come across explosive enemies, because I think that's only fair. Anyway, this is kind of a long, convoluted start here, but in any case, let's go down to the next floor and start actually making some progress. Enemies are gonna be a real problem for me. Apparently, coming up with bombs is gonna be a real problem for me as well, but mostly, you know, I've gotta just kind of master aggressive dodging here. The other thing is that the dead bird is kind of gonna not just be a, a superficial element that makes us resemble a pirate, but in addition to that, it's gonna help us kill enemies when we get hit on a room. And we are gonna get hit probably... Oh, I can use it as a projectile here. We're gonna get hit on most of the rooms we deal with, if I had to guess. Uh, but we'll see as we move along. In any case, we're eventually gonna get sweet upgrades. Obviously, I can't get rid of Dead Sea Scrolls, which is another thing. Um, that was terrible. Oh, wow, we didn't get hit. I had already planned what I was gonna say when we got hit, but um... Obviously, the, that's the other balancing factor against us, is that we're gonna have to use Dead Sea Scrolls, which is, in my opinion, one of the worst items uh, in the game. Maybe not top 10 items bad, but pretty bad nonetheless. We're actually getting pretty lucky on this floor, though we're basically being able to use Mom's Knife as if uh, it was a projectile the entire time, because... Luckily, uh, we've been coming across only the bomb-like enemies. Now, the spider's gonna be a little annoying. Just wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally send his spider babies out to hit me too quickly. Uh, let's see what we've got going on in here. Golden chest, we're absolutely gonna open it. That's not an official condition of this run, that we have to always open the golden chest, but it seems like it should be, doesn't it? That's a pirate's life, man. It's just pure treasure. Bad damage, but I managed to pick up the, uh, heart regardless. And this should be the last wave of enemies. Now, as soon as enemies touch the knife, they'll explode. There we go, we got fairly lucky there. Another golden chest, and... Uh, red patch, you know, extra damage, not so bad. Red patch causes us to, uh, do more damage as we take damage, which might actually be super beneficial here, because that's something that's probably gonna happen to us a lot. But yes, item room still very much on the table, shop still very much on the table, secret rooms, you know, on the table, but unfortunately, uh, 
kind of also off the table because we don't have any bombs right now. We can't actually open any of those chests. Uh, we can go to the item room for sure. This contains five homing bombs, which is actually beautiful for us. Uh, so let's just think about this. There is a tinted rock and some money over here. This seems like an obvious choice. Get some spirit hearts. Uh, an extra bomb, so we actually didn't lose anything there. A little extra money. Uh, we definitely want to open this one up so we could possibly get whatever's in this golden chest. Hopefully an HP upgrade. A speed upgrade, that's okay in its own right. We're definitely going to pop one down here to go to the secret room and see what's in that chest over there. Uh, and we find a half of a red heart and a troll bomb, so not too much of value there. But hey, three more cents here. Now, since we do have that half of a red heart, I can go down here now, enter the arcade for a cent, play this once, and get another cent out of it. We can probably come back and play that a lot more, is going to be my guess. Uh, but in any case, those five bombs, we've gotten a lot of value out of those already, and hopefully we'll continue to do so. Slow run so far, though. So we'll kill the projectile dude, and obviously if I kill this guy, then I will go back to using Mom's Knife as melee only. Which is going to be annoying, because these enemies explode in a hail of bullets like that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much guaranteed damage. Walk into the poop, see if we can get a little extra money, and indeed we can, which is good, because we're coming up to the shop soon. Not getting that, um... Not Horror Babylon. Uh, not getting that steam sale on the first floor changes things a little bit. It makes this a little bit more annoying because we, uh, you know, everything for the rest of the game could have been half price. But money seems to be pretty good so far anyway, thanks to Sack of Pennies. We get a bomb and a Spirit Heart for the cost of a bomb. And our shop contains a ladder, definitely worth buying. And you know what? Why not buy the bomb as well? Might end up helping us. In any case, that was a fairly good floor so far. Let's see if we can continue it on our boss room against the Widow, Dead Sea Scrolls, Mom's Bottle of Pills. So it just gives us a random pill. And actually, the Widow might be a kind of a difficult boss to fight, um, given my condition of only being able to run into enemies. I hope it's going to turn out... I mean, it's been going well so far, uh, but I, I am concerned about the prevalence of the spiders and the nubs. So I'm going to be trying to take those guys out whenever possible as well. Okay, that actually went really well so far. We have to get the nub without incident. That went very well. Free HP upgrade. Might as well take the pill. Bombs are key. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Hopefully we'll get another one eventually. And I don't want either of those items, so I guess it's down to the next floor. Well, now our bomb problems have been uh, certainly sorted out, and I'm glad I did that. Um... Oh, man, I actually have to go over here because I, <laughs> I have the ladder. Otherwise, I would have to... It's a situation where the ladder was actually a bad pickup because uh, I have to chase these guys down now, whereas before I probably could have justified using the mom's knife as a projectile, which would have made this room ten times easier. But as is, we're going to have to be a little bit sneaky, possibly. Almost as if we're playing the Sam Fisher mode, but I managed to get through that room surprisingly well. Much better than I thought I would. Certainly we are going to go to the shop, even though we only have 11 cents. And now the steam sale certainly feels like it would have been useful. Because uh, keys are not unlimited anymore. I don't know why I got so much health there. Did I, I just got some health for getting hit, it looked like? Or maybe Red Patch just made me bigger. Anyway, I bought Nun's Habit. That's going to let us use Dead Sea Scrolls much more often. As if that's, you know, a great thing. It's not necessarily. That's bad damage. Uh, we have tons of bombs, though. So I don't need to worry about that so much anymore. We lost our Spirit Hearts. But again, not the end of the world. There was other stuff in that shop. Maybe I should go back at some point. Uh, I definitely should have done this in an opposite order. But let's see. Kane's good. All pills are good. Bad gas. Well, all pills are not bad, is maybe a better way to put it. In our secret room, we come across a slot machine, which I will play once and then immediately blow up because we have so many uh, bombs that it seems like a best course of action. And we got another bombs or key pill. Okay, so I definitely want to trade back. The only question is when. We should at least finish off this floor. This is a tricky room uh, when you only have mom's knife and can only use it in a melee sense. I think with the ladder, we can just kind of stealth kill at least one of them. And I want to trigger this one as well. And then we... Oh, oh god. He's he's unleashed all of the flies. You jerk. Um, do we want to... Was this another bombs or key pill? Come on, man. Uh, we might as well go fight the boss. But I kind of want to go to the item room first. Because I don't really want to backtrack. I'm still feeling very strong. Uh, but, you know, could be better. Obviously, this is a projectile worthy room. Which is an easy get for us. Uh, we might come across an arcade or something. Who knows? I would love to pick up the compass as well, as you can probably guess. Uh, I could use the ladder to take these guys out, but it, it would require a little bit of work. Obviously, any key that I get is good because it means that we don't have to spend a bomb a little bit later. Uh, or we'll have one extra bomb a little bit later when I use these bombs or key pills. Um, we're just going to exit out of there. That was worth a try, but it didn't end up working out very well for me. And we're almost done with this floor. 
I just want to get out of this swastika room and then uh, get into the item room. I apologize, I accidentally shot Mom's knife there. We might actually have to shoot on this room. I think we can sneak around, though. Yeah, there we go. I mean, we're going to take some damage, but so be it. We might actually have to shoot again. Dead bird will just handle it for us. More money and our item room contains Mr. Mega. Now I kind of don't want to get rid of these bombs because I've got so many of them. Uh, and they do so much damage. Seems like this might be a better way to take out enemies. I mean, pirates use cannonballs, man. Maybe I should have given myself pyro. I could have justified it. We didn't go through the mob trap room. That's okay. I just wanted to see if maybe that poop contained a heart or something before we go fight whoever it is we're fighting here. I gotta be cautious because kamikaze. It's teleport, actually. Which took us right back to the item room. Uh, if we got Kamikaze from Dead Sea Scrolls, that would have been terrible. I mean, Dead Sea Scrolls, terrible enough in its own right. But, you know, if we get hit twice on people, use it. Maybe we get the Unicorn Horn. Maybe we get Game Kid. Who knows, man? Who knows? Maybe we should just be using bombs to take out uh, people. But, oh, well, I walked into him by accident. At least, at the very least, Dead Bird will end up doing something here. Okay, well, Book of Belial, that's pretty solid. I'm kind of worried about our health. Let's just put some bombs down here. The bombs are homing. I totally forgot. Dead bird can finish him off. I just want to make sure we live for the next few floors. So I can provide an entertaining product here. Thank you, dead bird. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll definitely pick this up. Again, every one of these that we get is very good for us. Now, here's what I'm thinking. Emperor card. I would want to hold on to that as long as possible. Uh, we'll take the matchstick, get rid of red patch. That, and then we'll use the bombs or key pill. And then we should have an adequate setup of keys and bombs for the rest of the game. I want to take the emperor card with us. I absolutely want more health, but there's nothing we can do about that now, so it's down to the next floor. Okay, I think I did the, the best that I could have done with what I was given there. I'm hoping, anyway. We did lose Red Patch, so be it. The key is not necessary at this point. Uh, this room is doable, for sure, uh, with what I've got. Dead Bird is definitely a good pickup. There's very, it's very rare that I say that, uh, but it's ended up helping me out a lot here. That is a nice drop as well, especially, yeah, there's the secret room. Um... You know what? I'm gonna say that this is a projectile possible room, because otherwise I'm pretty much guaranteed to take damage. Which is the spirit of fairness for not being able to use, or not having to use Mom's Knife uh, up close and personal on explosive enemies. Hope I'm not stepping on any toes there, but if I am, so good. That was bad. Almost there. Almost walked on the spikes again. My range is super low. I'm not sure if that's a result of like Max's head or something. One more. Sh yep. Managed to get out of there without taking damage. Our shop contains Bum Friend, which honestly is a little bit tempting. But first things first, let's just get a red heart uh, and fight this boss immediately. Because I'm in a position where that is probably uh, a good thing to do. Yeah, and you know, Gertie, not so bad. Let's check out what we got here. Lemon Mishap, obviously not my favorite item. Uh, using Mom's Knife as melee only, we can still kill Gertie. We've just got to get way up in Lady's face here. And, I mean, the mechanics of this fight, pretty similar to way, the way they normally are. We're just going to try not to accidentally walk into her as I did there. So let's keep this up. There we go. Not so bad, like I said. Watch out for Greeny here. And we'll take our range upgrade, which may actually be important, I'll admit. Uh, and with that done... I mean, I'm still feeling pretty bad about our overall chances, but... I mean... I, I don't really know what to say. Basically, it's still all up in the air. Uh, might as well use Dead Sea Scrolls here. Who knows, man. Shoop de whoop. That's pretty useful. If I could actually hit them for more than a split second with it. Just want to make sure that I don't let these guys walk into me or over me. And we're certainly still looking for the item room. Chest cool enough, or um, arcade cool enough in its own right as well. Maybe we can get something useful out of that, although I kind of doubt it. Pop up, please. Not you. Let's try this again. There we go. This is actually a surprisingly easy room. It might look really dangerous, but it's actually... Um, one of the easier rooms we could possibly come across. There we go. We've got a pill available. We've got some money. Uh, let's see what we've got in our arcade here. Demon Baby! Nice pickup. Again, this is going to make it so I don't actually 100% have to uh, take out enemies every single time. With my knife, I can maintain a sort of a safe distance. We're just going to walk in here. We basically get a free nickel for our trouble. And I am going to play this a couple of times. At least... Ah, whatever. That's probably good enough. Uh, oh, that was so bad. My thinking is, um, now we can go to the shop, we can buy Bum Friend. And I don't want Bum Friend to pick up the money right away. But, uh, I do want Bum Friend to possibly, uh, pick up the money after we finish with the, uh, the floors where we can actually use that money to buy something, if that makes sense. So once we get past the depths and utero, that's when we can start using Bum Friend to his maximum potential. But in the meantime, we're gonna look for one more cent so we can buy that Spirit Heart. And perhaps uh, sustain our survivability a little bit longer. Bum friend. Okay, you know what? 
You not today, motherfucker. That one belongs to me. Okay. And he still didn't give me anything. I found myself like worried about taking the money from Bum Friend as if Bum Friend was some kind of condition of this challenge run. I mean, it's almost like against the spirit of the challenge run if we're rolling in come on, man. If we're rolling in true pirate fashion. Um, which is to say, you know, pirates typically renowned for, you know, not being super generous. That being said, um, it was never explicitly stated, so I'm just not gonna use poetic license, basically. Okay, Demon Baby, if you- okay, I can't attack this guy, so Demon Baby's gonna have to do it. Because I'm worried about the TNT. There we go, we got a little extra health. In fact, we got a lot of extra health there. Uh, there might be a special room over here, maybe we'll come across a library or something, which would actually not be great for me. Demon Baby keeping these guys at bay is nice, too. We need to go deeper is just going to give us the shovel, which is actually a little bit nice, honestly, because we won't have to backtrack. Oh, come on. I shouldn't have taken damage there. We won't have to backtrack as far to go to the boss. The extra key, sure, it's welcome, I guess. These guys should be easy enough. I like that, oh, I like that Demon Baby keeps these guys at bay. A uh, little extra health to be cool. Probably don't want to get that troll bomb. Um, oh, Demon Baby, seriously, buddy? You know, I don't even think I need the spirit heart. Hopefully, I don't regret that. Kane's eye is like a tears up. Bum friend, come over here, man. You can take that. See what you give me. Red hearts? Nothing at all. Nothing. Okay. I, I do think the matchstick is more important right now. So I'm going to go down to the next floor. It's only the depths part one. I'm just going to take a sip of water here. My throat's getting a little raw. Uh, I'm going to go straight down. I'm trying to find the item room first, as you might expect. Uh, we're definitely going to use mom's knife as a... Oh, no. You know what? Sorry. We have the ladder. I don't have to use mom's knife as a projectile. Like I was about to say. Well, that was terrible damage. Uh, thank God for that half red heart. Sure, bum friend, um... You know, we are Kane, so bombs are key. I should have known that. I want that Emperor card, but I don't want to risk walking over there, unfortunately. Uh, this is the worst of all possible rooms. Dead Sea Scrolls, definitely a uh, good viability here, so we're gonna let that go. It's gonna get all these guys. Dead Bird and, uh, the basically fifth level super fast meat boy cool by me. Also gives us the ability to fly, and how awesome, I'm not gonna say necessary, but how awesome would the ability to fly be right now? Because we can go back and get that Emperor card with no risk to ourselves. Um, well, we still managed to do it. Don't want to use that to fight the boss right away because we'll probably die. There's a decent chance we would die at least. Now, I don't want to stand here because there's no way out of it. Lucky dodge. Come at me, brain dude. Alright, more red hearts, always useful. We're still kind of losing more health than we're gaining. This is a Dead Sea Scrolls worthy room. Mom's pad? Sure, okay. Do the turrets get affected by Mom's pad? Maybe it doesn't matter. Oh, we almost got, we got all but one, and he still hit me! But we got a red heart. And some money. Uh, this is a, a demon baby worthy room. I'm scared, so there's a useful bomb. Only got one. That's okay. Shit happens sometimes. Now, we can definitely take these guys out. We've just got to be a little patient, and the less there are, the easier it is for me to parse it, if that makes sense. There's our item room. That's a big one. Flies, I'm just going to spin around. If we hit them with the knife, glorious. If we don't hit them with the knife, Demon Baby should end up... Oh, my lord. Demon Baby should end up taking care of most of them. Uh, in our item room, we get Necronomicon, which I can't take. I'm concerned here. This is Dead Sea Scrolls Worthy. Mom's bottle of pills gives us bad gas. Uh, you know, it's worth taking, but is it worth taking right now? Okay. Cool off. Let off some steam, Bennett. I'm very scared right now. I'm, attack the poop? Maybe Bum Friend will find a scent in it. And uh, be able to give me a heart or something. Because I don't want to get close to these guys. Bomb might be in the cards right now. Demon Baby, don't fuck with me. Okay, Demon Baby. Just take some shots at Larry Jr. here. I can just stand here and be at, like, little risk of damage. Managed to get a sweet kill on Larry Jr. there when he got trapped inside of his own fecal matter. How about... Larry Jr. too? Okay, almost put myself in great risk there, but we ended up picking up, uh, more health than we started with anyway. We'll stick with our Emperor card. Bad gas doesn't really interest me all that much. As funny as two toots might be. I don't call them two toots in my everyday life either. That would be kind of really creepy. In any case... I call them, you know, methane gas explosions as if I'm some kind of super important geologist. Thank you, brain dudes. Brain dudes one at a time. Don't really worry me. I can just cheat them a little bit by using uh, Demon Baby as I did right there. And Demon Baby is going to be very effective for us. Thank you very much, bum friend. We are going to go 
Oh, I really thought I could get out of that. Um, we are gonna go to that secret room. Just don't get hit here. Let Demon Baby Dead Bird take care of it. One hit will kill you here, I think. So, if I can stand still and not put myself in risk, that is way better. We really need red hearts, or a one-up, courtesy of the item room here. And this whole, uh, you know, only allowed to use mom's knife as a projectile thing, it's harder than you think. Oh, bum friend, bum friend. I've got more than seven cents, now you take it all and give me a red heart. Oh my god, he actually found it in his heart to do so. Uh, we're gonna go straight for the boss room, I guess. Not with the Emperor card, but we're gonna walk straight for the boss room and hopefully pick up some health along the way. Sure, Dead Sea Scrolls, why not? Bob's Rod and Head, it's something. Managed to be pretty effective there. Dead Bird flew off the screen, but he's back now. And badder than ever. Uh, okay, nice dodge. And just a little bit. I might sound a little preoccupied right now. It's because I actually am preoccupied not getting my ass handed to me. Uh, it's taking a surprising amount of uh, mental effort to find myself not dying here. I was really concerned about that. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do kind of drive-by bombing. That did a lot of damage. And then I'm going to let Dead Bird and uh, Demon Baby take care of the rest, basically. Because I don't want to get anywhere close to these guys. The Greed Heads uh, shouldn't be too bad. But uh, I really want Dead Bird to kind of do the business there. Dead Sea Scrolls again. Book of Revelations. That was a huge, huge Book of Revelations from Dead Sea Scrolls. Might have saved my life. I, I really still want Demon Baby and Dead Bird to take care of these guys. And I don't want to pick up the money either. Because I want uh, Bum Friend to be able to create some health for me if possible. So... Wow. That dead bird pickup? Well, not pickup. The, the idea that I had to give myself the dead bird might have salvaged our run for a little bit. It's allowing me to execute kind of a passive strategy, which otherwise I probably would not have expected. So we're still very low on health. Very much uh, still under kind of a harrowing situation here. But we'll see how things progress. Managed to take out a nub, which is good progress. I would love to take out both of those nubs before we take out any of the ooze guys. Well... Obviously, that's not going to happen. One of the nubs, Demon Baby, just took it out solo, which I didn't even know was possible. We got a lucky Spirit Heart. We got a Sun card. I'm going to use it right away. I know that seems silly, but it, this allows me to hold on to the Emperor card as well, uh, which is awesome. Now, again, these enemies kind of explode when we hit them, so I am going to use uh, Projectile Mom's Knife. But mostly, I feel so much better. Oh, that was terrible. Book of Revelations again. Wow, super lucky. I feel so much better about the way things are going now. And if we get Book of Revel- or if we get, um, uh, Dead Sea Scrolls again, does that give us another Book of Revelations? No, this time it gave us Mr. Boom. Not nearly as effective. That's okay, though. I am not gonna complain, considering the amazing luck that we just had. And we're gonna be fighting war! I apologize, I didn't mean to take a shot at him there by accident, but I did. Just, you know, oh, come on. Just force of habit, you know, holding down the button to charge up Mom's knife before going into a room. Mom's bottle of pills gives us a pill we don't know anything about. I don't think it's telepills, though, so... Uh, I am going to take it. Tears up. Fantastic. I don't think that gives us any benefit at all. Really. Well, allowed myself to get hit by that again. Demon Baby and Dead Bird, please do what you do. I'm going to put a bomb down here. See how he likes it, eh? Yeah, there we go. That's some decent damage. Now, I should be able to plan these bombs out a little bit more effectively. Okay, now's the time when we can start doing some damage. we got to be careful in our own right. Definitely don't want to hit that tarot card in Zelda ourselves. Uh, Kamikaze is definitely not what I wanted there. The cube of meat is something to keep us alive. Dead Sea Scrolls should just be Kamikaze again, so I don't want to use it right away. And if we beat Mom on this run, I'll consider it a success, because this is a more difficult run than I'm used to. Still doing fantastically on bombs and keys. Well, we're doing at least okay on, uh, on bombs, but fantastically on keys. Alicia Keys, basically. Okay, what do we have here? Necronomicon. That was a very good choice for that room. Probably saved me from taking a lot of damage. Now, this guy might actually just kill himself, and he did. We walk away and get a, a little bit of free health without taking any damage ourselves. This is kind of a tricky setup, but, uh, you know, one by one, I should be able to take... Ah! Da -da. Okay, well, I botched it a little bit, but we do get the shears now, which allows us to fly, which makes this room much easier, even though I still took some stupid damage. Uh, and may take more? No. Oh! Okay, now I'm in a kind of a rough position. Please? Oh, that would have killed me. That would have been the worst death. Um, please give me some spirit hearts. It's amazing how quickly things turned around here. No spirit hearts there, which sucks. Uh, and in this room... Well, we don't want to use anything here. We've already been to the secret room. One hit by some enemies will kill me. Okay, just... Oh my god, okay. Just run straight, and we're good. Thank you to Demon Baby for not shooting those guys into me, which I was legitimately concerned about. This would be a good time. Monstro's Tooth? Okay. It didn't do anything. Um, that would have been a great time for a Book of Revelations. 
I don't know if these guys do one heart of damage. We may find out soon. I hope not. And, you know, if I just kind of use the, the knife as a weapon of last resort... These guys are going to get close to me, but not close enough. Oh, we got a pill. The pill is bombs are key, which I don't want to use for the 40th time. Now, these guys definitely do one hit of damage, so... I'm just going to try to play it cool. Oh, okay, that was really close to... Genuine terror in my voice. Demon baby, do your worst. I definitely... Oh, he almost hit him right into me. We got bombs again. Are you serious? Just give me some health or money. Shoop the whoop, that's not what I needed. Um, okay, I, I didn't explain myself before I did that. I should have. What I wanted to do is come over here, possibly earn a spirit heart on this thing. Uh, I'm not too concerned about the whole... Oh, it's outside of the bounds. Uh, I'm not too concerned about stepping on the spikes because I should be okay, but... That could end this run, but if it does end this run, at least you know what I was going for, right? The more spirit hearts we get out of, out of this, the better. The moon card can teleport us out, and then we can just walk back in, but... Uh, is that gonna make this easier on us, or harder? Good question. I gotta check these, just in case we... Temperance is a blood bank. Bang, bang, shoot, shoot. Uh, okay, matchstick, emperor. This is the combination we want. Matchstick, emperor. Let's leave. Okay, we're still alive. I feel a lot better. We're not gonna try to get, you know, min-max trinkets and items out of there. We're just gonna get the F out of there and move on with our lives. Hopefully get a good item from the item room. This could be a dangerous room. I hate these nubs because they have kind of a random nature of fire. Uh, oh, that was real close. And I can't afford to take even a half heart of damage. Every little bit counts. I definitely should have let uh, Bum Friend get that. This is a tough one. Let's feed him some bombs because we can afford it. And I really can't afford to take damage is the, the other factor involved. Oh, he didn't need it. It's okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, didn't mean to accidentally cite the name of a racist organization. We're still alive. There's a spirit heart. Don't die. Pick it up. Kill the silkworm. Easy as pie. Not even trying to rhyme. Obviously, there we go. Okay, getting a little extra health. Candle. Cannot take. Definitely will take those. Feeling a little bit better about my chances now. And in our item room, we find... Little Chad, which for once, I actually feel is a fairly necessary item... Uh, in order to help my survival here. So that's going to be the end of our uh, shop and item room adventures. Here's what we do here. We just run in here. If I take damage, I take damage. Whatever. It was kind of necessary to kill those dudes. Now these guys will explode on contact. Let's Dead Sea Scrolls here. Book of Shadows. Oh, okay, that's awesome. Now we don't have to use Mom's Knife as a projectile. Um, probably still a good idea regardless, but... Got some asshole greed heads, which are always annoying. Especially when they shoot so much. Uh, one of them is dead already. Two of them are dead already. Dead bird and demon baby. Do your worst. I should really let bum friends start picking up all this stuff. Did he give us anything? Little Chad gave us something. Much appreciated, little Chad. Uh, keep it up. I'm just standing here because I don't think these guys will be able to come in and do damage. And so far that seems like the prophecy has been fulfilled. Uh, these guys, I'm just checking. I don't think they drop bomb flies. No, that's only the blue ones. So I apologize for shooting there, but that was just a... A cautionary shot, a warning shot, if you will, to make sure I knew what I was dealing with. So this should be really easy as long as I'm facing these. <laughs> as long as I'm facing these guys uh, with my knife out, they shouldn't be able to do damage. Our boss is obviously Mom. This is gonna be Blue Mom. Uh, we are gonna pop. Oh Jesus Christ! I can't get too close. Uh, I do have bombs. That's good because there's a tinted rock on. Oh my God! It's just a golden chest. Well, still the golden chest could be amazing. It's just money. It's just money. I can't get that close! That's the problem. Okay, um, wait for the foot to come down. Uh, then they do that. Bob's rotten head. Okay, it's useful. It's useful. We can still make this work. Just don't walk into her. Don't- Oh, the green head! Oh, we're still alive. Okay. So many times I thought we would have d died over the course of this. Demon baby. Demon baby, hook me up. Get a kill! Oh, we're almost dead! We died when we lived! We died when we killed our mom! So, in the end, I said it would be a successful run if we killed Mom. We killed Mom. Was it a successful run? Somewhat. I'm fairly pleased with that. But in any case, thank you guys for watching, and thank you to SaltGuy201 for that challenge run suggestion. In any case, I will see you guys next time. And as always, continue suggesting your challenge runs. I will do the ones I need most insane, appropriate, or hilarious. And for the third time, as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.